Hello Year 6 students and also to the parents and carers of Year 6 students or any other family members that happen to be watching this video. My name is Mr Wood, I am Assistant Head Teacher here at Benton Park and one of my main jobs and one of my favourite jobs is overseeing our transition process. And so in simple terms that is making sure that our Year 6 students are ready for joining us here at Benton Park in September. I've overseen this process for, uh, for many, many years. Um, but obviously we find ourselves in, in slightly unusual and unprecedented circumstances. Please be rest assured that it is of the utmost importance to us here at Benton Park to make sure that our Year 6 students are, are, are fully prepared to join us in September and we will do whatever it takes to make sure that we can make that as smooth as possible despite obviously quite significant limitations that we find ourselves working within at the moment. Now we're really confident that we can get the students ready for September and a huge amount of that confidence is down to the fantastic work that our feeder primary schools have done already. We uh, are really lucky at Benson Park, our feeder primary schools are absolutely brilliant and uh, year after year students arrive to us really really equipped academically, socially and mentally for coming up to secondary school. So we're, we're absolutely confident that there's a lot of tremendous work happened already. Um, and obviously over the next few weeks, we'll do whatever we can to make sure that we finish that journey in the best way possible. The first thing for me to do really is to, uh, to welcome you to the Benton Park community. We're absolutely delighted that you've been given a place. It's an oversubscribed subscribed year group and we've got a big waiting list. So, uh, so you've done really well to, uh, to get a place with which uh, we're absolutely thrilled about. And hopefully you feel um, part of the Benton Park community already. Um, you should have received a welcome letter from Ms. Martin, the head teacher here at Benton Park. You should have also received our, our welcome booklet, which I'll, I'll refer to in, in a moment. And uh, hopefully you are also receiving our parent bulletins, which uh, I'll give you a little bit of uh, up-to-date information about what's going on in the school and celebrating the success of some of our students. So uh, it's really important to us that you feel part of the, uh, the Benton Park community. And uh, um, please don't hesitate to contact us if you've got any queries. Okay, so in terms of the transition process itself, what would have uh, happened in a normal year so far is I would have brought these, um, these booklets in person to all of the primary schools. So I've met the students in their, their own environment for the first uh, occasion. So obviously that couldn't happen this year. Unfortunately, we're not allowed that face-to-face -face contact. Um, so you have hopefully received the booklet already. And uh, over the course of the next 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the things that crop up in the in the conversations that I have with students when I, I visit the primary schools and some of the, the key concerns and also share a little bit of information with you, which hopefully might some of the, uh, address some of the questions that you, you have at this stage. Normally that would have happened over uh, the last few weeks and then things will be pretty quiet at this time actually because in an ordinary year um, students will be getting ready for the eight, their year six SATs at this stage. So the transition process is pretty quiet now and, and the, the main piece of work that we're doing at the moment actually is gathering information. So there'll be some um, sheets coming out to get um, uh, lots of background information about year six students to let us know about uh, your interests, your hobbies, your favourite subjects and, and so on and so forth. But also we will be contacting um, primary schools, year six teachers, um, to get important information to make sure that we know how to support students in the best way possible when they arrive with us in September. So uh, that information gathering is in, is in full swing at the moment um, and uh, we, are, we are hoping that we can have some face-to-face -face contact and transition days and, and so on and so forth next half term but obviously we uh, are, are waiting for government guidance regarding whether we're allowed to do that and then obviously when we get that guidance we will then uh, share information with you about how that will affect you, when it will affect you and so on and so forth. So um, for this stage, I'm just going to go through the, uh, the booklet to, uh, to start off with. And hopefully you've taken time to go through it already, but there's lots of really important key information about your first day, um, about school routine, so you know what time the school day is, because it's probably going to be quite a bit different to the, uh, the times of, uh, of break times and lunch times and, and start times than your primary school. Um, some key information regarding organisation and attendance and uh, uh, punctuality, which is really, really important. Um, school uniform and PE kit um, to make sure that you can get planning for that, what you'll need to wear in September and uh, uh, our expectations. And this is probably one of the most important pages of the booklet because this gives you a, an example of a, a year seven timetable. 
this isn't your timetable, your timetable will look very similar to this. So you'll see that there's two weeks, so we have week one, followed by week two, and then all the way through the school year, it goes one, two, one, two, one, two. We have a school planner here, uh, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But if ever you're sat in your bedroom on a Sunday evening and you think, uh, I don't know what to put in your bag, I can't remember if it's week one or week two, um, then it says so in your planner for each week. So that's really easy to keep track of. And uh, the, the timetable just gives you really simple information about which teacher you have, which subject you have, and which room you have. And actually this helps you organize your days and, and navigate your way around school as well. And uh, I'll refer to that in, uh, in due course. Information about uh, parent pay and, and uh, biometrics, getting fingerprints scanned to pay for school dinners. Uh, and there'll be some forms coming out electronically to parents and carers shortly with that information. Information about the buses, if you, uh, if you require a bus to attend school. Um, and then the last few pages, which is really important, covers the year seven curriculum. So what you can expect to learn in each of the different subjects. Um, over the course of the year and then some of the formats that that comes in. So that's really interesting to, to, to get a little bit of a, a guide to what Year 7 is going to look like from a, uh, from a curriculum point of view. So that's the booklet. Please do let us know if you haven't received a copy of that, but, uh, but hopefully you've all had an opportunity to look through that at this stage. We also have here um, the School Planner, which all students will get issued with on their first day. Again, lots of key information in the, uh, in the first few pages uh, regarding attitude to learning, regarding um, uh, the running of a normal school day. The vast majority of this acts as a diary where um, you can, can record really important information about your school day in terms of any homework that you have and um, you know, the ingredients that you need for food technology or when you need to bring your PE kit. So that's really important to keep yourself organised. And then at the back of the planner, lots of key information about subjects, about key terminology and words and uh, equations and, and so on and so forth. So that's really important as well. So your planner is a really, really important guide for you during your year seven. So that's a really important document and uh, you'll get that on your first day. Whether you are coming from a primary school that has 45 students coming to year seven or you are the only person coming from your primary school. We think it's really, really healthy, really important to have lots of good friends um, rather than necessarily one best friend. So we encourage people to, to maintain and keep friendships that they might have from primary school, but also to use all the really exciting opportunities at Benton Park in terms of our extracurriculum programme, um, whether you are drama or sporty or into music or technology or science, Whatever it is, um, then you'll find lots more like-minded people at Benton Park to socialise with and to share those interests with. So we really encourage people to, to attend extracurricular activities, first of all, because they're brilliant, but secondly, is it's a great way of making new friends. We also uh, have students in a variety of different classes, so you'll meet lots and lots of different people. And so over those first few weeks, it's really important to maybe move out of your comfort zone, and to make every effort to, to meet new people and to introduce yourself and to say hello. Um, but certainly your teachers and your form tutors and the pastoral staff will help you do that. And uh, hopefully we have the opportunity to bring you in um, for transition days next half term. And that's something that we really focus on during those days as well. So I'm really confident that, that you're going to make lots of good friends. And the feedback that we've had from um, students in previous year groups is that they found it really easy to make friends at Benton Park. So hopefully that, that isn't a concern. And can I sit here and guarantee you that you won't get lost? No, I can't. But I think it's probably unlikely. Um, I think it will take you a couple of days to get used to the building. Um, some of you are lucky enough to have visited the building already in terms of open evenings. A number of you have siblings at the school, so you may have been uh, brought along to parents' evenings before, or you may have had sports training in the, uh, the sports hall here before. But when you go to a new building, it's uh, really unfamiliar to start off with. But the more you go there, the more familiar you become. Uh, and I certainly know when I visit primary schools, and the first couple of times that I go, I find it really difficult to find my way around. But after I've been there a few times, it becomes much more familiar. And, and you will get used to, to Benson Park really quickly. And, and probably the best example of this is when you came to our open evening, early October, then students who had only been with us uh, two or three weeks felt confident enough to act as your tour guide. So uh, that will be you 
again um, uh, this year, acting as guides at our open evening. So that's testimony to show how, how quickly Year 7s do get familiar with the building. Because like I say, not only do they know their way around, but confident enough to show other people around on open evening. But what can we also do to make sure that you don't get lost? Well, hopefully we have some transition days. And every time that you visit Benson Park, you'll have the opportunity to go on a guided tour. Like I say, some of you might have done that already on the open evening. Also in the, in the planner, um, at the back here, we have a map of the school so if ever you're unsure where you are you can refer to that map and that will help you find where you're going probably one of the biggest strengths of benson park is um, the student population who are tremendous ambassadors for the school but also the the staff as well so if ever you're not sure where you're going you can always ask someone but actually you're never going to be the only person going from geography to history or from from science to pa there's always going to be a group big group of people going from one lesson to another what you might find in the first few days that you don't necessarily know the quickest way to uh, to get to the year class. So you get there, but you might end up going the long way around. And teachers are aware of that and you won't get into trouble uh, in the first few, uh, few weeks um, if you're a little bit late to class because you didn't know the quickest route. Um, and actually the way in which the building's laid out makes it a little bit easier. So our ground floor, all the classrooms start with G. Um, uh, on our first floor, all the classrooms start with F. So if you have a class uh, maybe history in F14, and you think, right, I've got art in S22 next, you go F for first floor, right, I need to go up some stairs to go up to second floor for my next lesson. Uh, so again, that's uh, another little tip that will help you navigate your way around the building. And uh, I'm really confident that you'll get to know it really, really quickly. And, and as with all your primary schools, we have uh, fencing around the outside of the, the building, so it's not like you can go walking from one class to another and end up in the middle of the road. And um, we've got secure fencing all the way around the outside of the school, so it can't go too badly wrong. Well. Uh, so hopefully that puts your mind at rest regarding that as well. The other probably main differences between primary school and secondary school is that you are the oldest, the biggest, the most mature um, uh, at your school, and you go to being the youngest and some of the smallest in the school. So uh, that's something that we look to address in our transition days uh, and, and you'll gradually get used to being in a building with, with a lot more people and, and bigger people as well. But one thing that we do to, uh, to help you feel a little bit more comfortable is there's a playground that is specifically for Year 7 students. So if you just want to be around people of your own age and your own size at break times and lunch times, that's absolutely fine. We also have uh, Year 7 students going into the canteen early for the first couple of weeks and to make sure you get familiar with that setup. So again, that should uh, hopefully mean that uh, um, you're not pressured and you're not rushed into uh, to selecting your food and, and getting used to that whole dining experience at, at lunchtime. And on your first day, there will only be year 7s and year 12s in the, in the building on your first day. Uh, it will feel a little bit like you've got the school to yourselves. And on that first day, that's when you get your planner, but also your real timetable. So on that first day, that guided tour just feels a little bit more real because your form tutor can actually take you around and say, this is your French class or this is your maths class, this is where you go to English. Um, and then it suddenly makes it feel a little bit more real. So uh, uh, like I say, we do lots of things to make you feel comfortable and to help you find your way around and to, to become familiar with the differences. And probably the, the other main thing is that movement around school. Um, you probably spend an awful lot of time in, in one classroom with the same teacher at your primary school. Whereas at secondary school, for a science lesson, you go to a, a specific science lab. For maths, you go to the maths department, get taught by a maths teacher, you go to a special workshop for, for technology, and have specialist teachers in all your different subjects. So moving around the school is also something that we address in our, our transition days to get you used to those different things. So hopefully that's um, just uh, uh, sort of brought um, some of those questions into uh, a little bit more perspective for you. But uh, please feel free to ask us any questions on any future uh, um, visits or, or communications that we have. In terms of uh, the next phase of the transition, uh, obviously we're information gathering at the moment um, and we'll be in touch um, as, as soon as we have more information about the next phase of the transition. Uh, as I said at the start, we're just waiting for uh, the government guidance to see what that looks like. And uh, we will keep you in touch, let you know of key dates um, and, uh, and do what we can to make sure that all students feel really, really ready to join us here at Benson Park. Well, probably the, the final thing for me to say to you all is um, stay safe. Use the um, lockdown period in the best way possible. I'm sure all your primary schools are setting loads of remote learning for you. And uh, when information comes out to you from Benson Park, make sure you fill that in. And giving us information about yourself will really help us and get to know you until we can actually meet you face to face. I'm really looking forward to the next 
first phase of transition when we do actually meet face to face because this is certainly unusual uh, for me it's probably a little bit unusual for you but i really look forward to meeting you in person very very soon okay so uh look after each other stay safe and, and i'm sure that we will see each other soon thank you very much